Ken Perot here from The Hunting Wire. We're here in King George, Virginia. Once again, cooking with my next door neighbor, hunting buddy Colton. How are you doing today, man? Good. Good. We're going to be making a dish with a, uh, a nilgai, which is uh, the largest of the Indian antelope species. And uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting dish. Tell us about it, Colton. So today we're going to be making a nilgai rogan josh, which is a Indian style curry. A lot of spices out there. Is this going to be a... A, a really soup, one of those super hot Indian dishes that you sometimes hear about? Well, this isn't going to be super spicy. Um, we're going to concentrate more on warmth and depth than hot. But we could very well make this super spicy. Tell me a little bit about these peppers right here. What are we going to use in, in the way of peppers? There's an awful lot of peppers and tomatoes in there. So we're going to use some uh, banana pepper today from that I picked from my garden. and. Cut that up and probably add in some tomatoes. Uh, but you don't have to use fresh tomatoes, you can always use canned. Okay. All right. Well, let's get started. Garni, which is a simple way of gathering all your spices together in a piece of cheesecloth to be able to pull them back out of your dish once you're done with them. We're going to tie it all up. Now we're going to add the highlight of the Rogan Josh dish, the aromatics. We're also going to add a homegrown tomato for a little bit of extra flavor in the liquid. And our bouquet garni. Mmm, smells good. It smells really good. Well, we've made a delicious Nil Guy Rogan Josh. It definitely smells good. Yeah, it does. Yep. Put some last minute condiments on it, some chopped egg, chopped cucumber, a little bit of green onion, and uh, cilantro if you like it. So let's take a taste. Not bad at all. No. Definitely has some good flavor. Mm -hmm. Have a nice fresh Indian tandoori style bread. This is an interesting dish. Obviously, you don't need to make it with nilgai. Uh, you could use any kind of venison that you that you might be able to get, whether it be elk, deer, antelope. 
uh, it would all work. Well, I think it's a hit. Mm -hmm. Good hunting. Good eating. All right.